Undoubtedly, you have been hearing a lot about the economy and about the housing market in particular. Today, I am going to break down exactly what's going on here in West Michigan. As you've likely heard, interest rates have been on the rise and with fears of a recession looming, many people are wondering, what's gonna happen with the housing market. I've seen a lot of predictions out there like you have, but what I always like to do is go to the facts. What is happening here in our local market? To do that, what we need to do is look at stats. What I like to do is look at both year over year stats, as well as comparing month to month to see where our trends are going. One of the first stats that I always like to look at is how many months of inventory do we have on the market? We call that absorption rate in real estate lingo. For June of 2022, we were at 1.08 months. So basically one month of inventory. The same time last year, we were at 0.92. While that number has increased, it has not increased in a significant way. Make no bones about it, we still have low inventory here in West Michigan. With that low inventory, that continues to drive high demand in our area for buyers, which means our housing market is actually holding pretty steady at this point. Another stat we like to look at is days on market. How many days on average is it taking for homes to sell? This year we were at six days on market in June, last year five. So again, no significant change. Some of that has to do with strategy of people doing highest and best offers by a certain date and things like that. So I don't see any sort of significant change within that statistic. For the median sales price, we were right around 315,000 this time last year. This year we were at 330,000. And year to date, we are up about 16% on our median sales prices, meaning home values have continued to appreciate here in West Michigan, and we are on a good pace for the year. Will we continue to see median sales prices rise that high? I don't think we're going to. I think what we're going to begin to see is a leveling off of the appreciation, but not a decline in home values. We cannot sustain 16, 20%. We will likely go to a more normal by the end of the year, three to 6%. Now, we could end up a little higher, we could end up a little lower, but again, no one is predicting a drop in prices, including me. Two more stats I like to look at are new listings and pending sales. This gives us a pulse on what type of inventory is coming on the market and is it selling or not. Year to date, we are up 5% on our total new listings. Not a significant amount, but again, that is an increase. For June specifically, we were up about 31% on new listings. This time last year, we had about 215 listings come on the market in June. This year we had 282. That might seem like, oh my word, the new listings have increased a ton, but let's get into pending sales. When you look at pending sales year over year, June of last year compared to June of this year, we were up 29% also. So we were up about 31% on new listings, but our pendings were up 29%. Essentially, even though we have increased quite a bit in listings this June compared to last June, our pending sales have increased as well, meaning as these homes hit the market, they are flying off the shelves, which is highly driven by millennial buyer demand. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. While we may see a slowdown in buyer activity due to the rising interest rates, the reality is we still have many, many buyers out there, again, largely driven by millennials who need a home, who want a home, who are in their peak buying years. So while some buyers may be priced out of the market, due to the interest rates, the vast majority of home buyers are going to continue looking. And here in West Michigan, that is going to help us sustain a healthy market now and going forward. Again, we don't expect to see any drop in prices. So if you have been wondering with the rising interest rates, rising home values, all the looming talk of recession, all of that, is it a good time for you to buy or sell? I would love to sit down and go through all the nuances of your particular situation, our particular local market, and determine what works best for you. So reach out today and we'll set something up.